So in today's video, I'm sharing 10 red flags in relationships that you should not ignore. Because identifying red flags in relationships is one of the most important things you can do to protect yourself from a toxic relationship. But if you're new, my name's Michelle Ferris. I'm a psychotherapist and I love helping people create relationships that work. So you might assume that picking the right partner or the right friend comes naturally, but it actually doesn't. When a person feels right, we automatically assume compatibility. We think that they're great for us even when we don't know them yet. And that's the danger of missing the red flags because in the beginning of any relationship, you're gonna find out what kind of person they are. And so in this video, I'm gonna share 10 things you can look for that are gonna help you recognize those red flags in relationships. So here's the thing, relationships are like job interviews when you do them right. It takes a while, you have to ask questions, you have to assess what kind of person you're with. And that doesn't take a matter of weeks and months, it actually takes years to really understand somebody's character. But in the beginning, sometimes we think that we've already met the perfect person. And if that's you, say yes in the comments, I totally get it. So the first thing I want you to look for is, are they considerate towards you and other people? Now, this may be an obvious question, but believe it or not, sometimes we can miss this red flag. So for instance, maybe you're on a date and the person you're with is super rude to the waiter or they lose their mind on a phone call. Those are really important signs to look for because if the person isn't kind and courteous, then that can really be a red flag of anger issues or somebody that isn't necessarily respectful. This especially applies to how they treat family members is really important information. So the next relationship red flag that I want you to look for is, is their attitude generally positive or negative? Because if you want to build a healthy relationship with someone and they complain a lot or they really have a negative view on life, it can bring you down. If in general, you notice that it's really a doom and gloom type attitude and you walk away from being with that person and you just don't feel right, you feel kind of depressed, that's a really important sign to pay attention to because you get to pick the kind of people you want to hang out with. Because who we attract can also impact our mood. And it's really important to pick those people for your inner circle carefully. Now the next red flag in relationship that I want you to pay attention to is can they talk openly about their life? Now, they don't necessarily have had to go to therapy or be super aware, but are they relatively open about who they are, where they come from, the kind of job they have, the kind of family they come from? Are they relatively open? Because if they're not, that's a real red flag. Because when we hide or avoid telling certain parts of our story, that's important information. You want to know if this person is keeping secrets or if they tend to avoid difficult problems in life. And so talking openly about their life and themselves is a really healthy sign that you want to look for in any relationship. Now the next sign of a red flag in relationship is, are there subjects that are off limits where they will not talk about it at all and they get really defensive if you bring it up? Like maybe it was a past relationship or maybe it's even their family where they are not willing to engage in any conversation. That's a red flag because again, when we're not willing to engage in a subject and we have a big reaction, that generally tends to show that something's underneath that and you want to pay attention. You don't want to excuse it and think, oh, well, maybe this was just something painful. Because if they can't talk about it at all, that would be concerning. Because when they're secretive and unwilling to share, that's definitely a red flag in relationships. It also can indicate that they are really stuck, have some trauma that they're not willing to look at. So another red flag in relationships is do they tend to blame others for their unhappiness? This could be if they've been divorced, they blame their partner or they blame their parents excessively. It's everybody else's fault but theirs. That's a huge red flag in relationship because it shows a lack of accountability. And that's a trait for me that's a major deal breaker because if you can't be accountable for your own behavior, you're not gonna be able to work through any conflicts. So if they tend to blame others for the relationship not working out, or maybe they have been fired a lot and it's always that they have a bad boss, those are really important red flags to pay attention to. Now the next red flag I want you to look at is do they use substances to cope with stress? 
This is a big one. I can't tell you how many clients I've had tell me that their husband was drunk on the first date and they ignored it because they were young and they were partying. But that's a big red flag because think about it. If you're on a first date, you want to make a good first impression and getting drunk doesn't usually do that. So it's really important to look at, do they use substances or compulsive behaviors to deal with stress? They may also be secretive about certain things they do, or you may notice that they have hours that are unaccounted for because maybe they're doing the substances behind your back because they don't want you to know what they're doing. And that's a major red flag in any relationship. So another red flag in relationships is, do they have reasonably good relationships with family and friends? Because somebody who's isolated, that's a major red flag. If they don't have friends and they don't have any contact with any family member at all, that would definitely perk my ears up. Because you want somebody that has some established connections that are healthy. Because if they do, then that indicates that they most likely will be able to do that with you too. But if they don't have any good relationships, that's a really bad sign that they don't have the skills for healthy relationships. If you're relating to this at all, say yes in the comments because we've all seen red flags in our relationships. So the next red flag I want you to look for in relationships is do they show any signs of depression, anxiety, or mental health issues that, here's the kicker, they are not willing to address in any way? Because most of us might have some depression or anxiety or something going on, but if they're at least in therapy or willing to talk about it or willing to learn skills so that they can cope better, that's a major plus. But if they're not willing to look at treatment in any way, that's a major red flag because that issue is going to get worse over time and it's gonna really impact the relationship in a negative way. Now the next red flag I want you to look at in relationship is do they try to control you in any way? Do they try to control your time? Do they try to control who you spend time with? Uh, minimize time with family and friends? Want you all to themselves? That's a major red flag. Or do they want to control you financially by borrowing a lot of money and asking where you're spending it? There's lots of different ways to control somebody. Usually somebody controls someone socially first. They feel threatened by outside sources, especially if they're narcissistic. So it's really important to be able to identify any issues of control that you're seeing up front because that is a major red flag in any relationship. Now the next step, I want you to go watch my video on the signs of toxic relationships. Thanks so much.